Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, so, as usual, I'm uh, recording this live on Twitch. So if you guys uh, didn't get to see the stream, my Twitch will be linked below, so you guys can come check it out. Now, <laughs> I'm not very happy I'm recording this right now. And it's not because I'm not enjoying the game, I'm loving the game. I love Star Wars, and that's just a fact on my channel. But... Uh, as you guys may see, I'm not fighting the boss anymore. That's because I beat it, but I didn't save my footage. I spent about 10 hours in total across several days because I can't just, you know, play every day all day. I do have work and other things to do aside from YouTube right now because YouTube's not my full-time job. And well, neither is Twitch anyway as well, so... I kind of need to do, you know, some stuff that, you know, makes me money. Obviously, I actually have to work right now. But, um, yeah. I had nothing but glitches. It bugged out the hell and back. So I finally just said, fuck it, I'm going to play it. And I'll just clip it when I'm done. I saved the game, exited the game, because I was so pissed off and so frustrated with how buggy this boss was, I didn't save the clip. So, Yeah. That sucked. I tried before I came back here to, um, to, like, reload it or something so I could, you know, maybe face the boss again fairly, but, yeah, as far as I can tell, there's no way to do that. So, that really sucked. I'm pretty freaking pissed about that. And I lost all that progress, basically. What a nice sisters out there. I really like the cutscene that these two had. Um, yeah, I'm a little, I'm a little annoyed, but I guess I can't do anything about it. Oh shit! So yeah, finally, I guess just welcome back, guys. Are you gonna help me with this? Whoa! Are you sure you can handle it? You asshole! You have to be Malakos. <laughs> Well, I'm not handling that. Hell no. Oh, okay. Oh, there's an echo here. Something terrible happened here. Uh, a massacre. They killed their own kind. For really promises did? of power. You're just not realizing that? <clears throat> just saying. We're gonna get out of here. This woman you travel with, who is she? See her? Wait, how do you know about her? I have seen your companions. Marikos wanted me to attack them, but they posed no threat. See her, um... Well, she used to be a Jedi. It's a long story. I would like to learn it. Hmm. What's up here? Yeah, I actually kind of like the Night Sisters. Oh, wow, what the... Okay. The Night Sisters were kind of a cool kind of race. They just like to, you know, be left alone, not be bothered by people. We shouldn't be here. This place is cursed. Don't now, be scared. Remember, we have a deal. You promised to teach me your magics. Now, I know I got these in my first attempt, but because obviously I died far too many fucking times, I couldn't save, and I didn't bother getting them until I was done. So now, I have a chance to get them. Fallen sisters. This man has promised to grant us our vengeance, but only if I teach him our magic. Forgive me. I must ally with Malikos. Oh, so she had no choice because he felt she felt that Malikos could I'll deliver revenge. Jesus Christ! Stop doing that! Fucking hell, woman! Stop doing that, Night Sister shit! Fucking made me jump. Now I'm pretty sure I didn't miss anything here, but.
I heard something. I hate this planet. Hope after this we not to come back here. Oh shit, I forgot. Bounty hunters. Fuck. Watch this. Nope. And we got shit. Nope. Is he stuck up there or something? Ow. Come on. Combo time. It's nothing. Ow. Easy credit. Ow. Wow. Oh fucking K then. I wonder if this means the Night Brothers won't attack me anymore. Because now me and the sister are good. So well maybe the Night Brothers might still attack me. But I'd mostly hope that the undead sisters don't try and attack me again. Yep, I knew that was too much to ask. Dang it, woman! I'm not sure that's a shortcut. This is the exact same way, but whatever. And goodbye. Oh, I heard that. Peace and hair grease. You found it. Oh, well, who's this? What's that supposed to mean? It means I'll be joining you. Seer, Grease, this is Marin. She's a witch, isn't she? A night sister. Your fear is unnecessary. I couldn't have gotten the Astrium without her. We fought Malakos together. I trust her. And we trust you. You will have to earn it. Fine. Grab some seat. Don't even try anything funny. Welcome aboard. They like you. <laughs> oh, okay. It's bad you hear. I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> Okay. Um, what happened to my camera? Alright. Can we talk to her? I'm curious if it's just to say anything. Nope, apparently not. Later, Cal. Please. Okay, then. She's looking like I can talk to her, but I guess not. Okay. What about... Uh, oh no, Grease ain't up here. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's see if we can do anything real quick. I want to check out some of the new materials we got. Hope they don't kill each other. If you're not ready to leave, don't bother me. Okay, fuck. Moody. Hey, Grace. You calling me? You sure these mines are safe? They're getting pretty big. Yeah, well, they're a pain in my palms, trimming them every day. But yeah, they're fine, as long as I don't forget to cut them. That's reassuring. But let's, let's go before these guys kill each other. So much to see. We'll see as much as we can, buddy. Open the ancient vault. Alright. Let's go, then. This Cordova guy is really putting some wear and tear on my ship. He always wanted to explore the whole galaxy. And did you? We explored many planets. Tombs and temples related to the Zepho and Jedi. But I hit a limit. To him, there was no limit. The poor crazy old guy was left alone. He was always alone, even when I was with him. He cared about his work. He anything else. He didn't have the time. He was always on the move. Magana was the first place I ever saw that looked <laughs> like he settled. 
even for a brief moment. I love how BD was just like looking out the window. You think it'll work? It worked for Cordova. You can make it work. She's right. Oh, hey, is anybody hungry? I, I was thinking of whipping up some scat steaks. I'm sorry, am I interrupting? No, Captain. And we couldn't have gotten this far without you. Oh, <laughs> well, uh, it's true, Grease. Thank you. Hey, I hope you get in there and you find that hollow thing. Holocron. Are you sure it's something you should find? What do you mean? The children on that list. If you take them from their homes to train as Jedi, won't they be hunted like you? It has to be kept out of the hands of the Empire. It'll help us put an end to the Empire. Oh, hey, uh, change of plans, we're arriving. Oh, Grease. Yeah? I take my steak rare. Huh? <laughs> huh? Okay, <laughs> now we're cooking. <laughs> That was good. Oh, I remember this plan. It's been a while since we've been here. I hate it. Well, actually, I actually don't hate it. It's nice. I kind of like this planet, so I'm not going to complain about it too much. I want to see if Marin has anything to say. Where is she? Where is anyone? Are they all outside? Let's see what they have hey. to first. Oh, wait up! I know you're about to get that hollow cron. Nice. You remembered. You joining me? Oh, no, no, absolutely not. No, I just wanted to say, you know, those, those kids we're supposed to find. They're lucky to have you. They're lucky to have us. We're in this together, Grease. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't hoping you'd say that, because, you know, they're gonna need more than fancy magic tricks. Oh, uh, yeah? Practical guidance, role model, someone to look up to. You know, ship flying's a complicated art. But that's only if I stick around. I remember that. Good. Good. Okay. Good luck. I need a second. Cal, about a second. You've been through a lot to get here. But the vault is still an unknown. Cordova put the holocron inside. That's what's important. I have to get it. Cordova built danger into this test to protect it. You're worried about me. I don't want to train all those younglings alone. I'll be fine, Seer. Plus, I've got BD with me. I know. Just be careful. This might be unlike anything you two have faced before. Thanks. We're ready. The bolt right. us. Take care of each other. I right, see what uh, Marin has to say. There's something weird about this place. The energy is different here. Yeah, it's different than Dathomir. Yes. Dathomir is intricate. Its ancient power emanates from the shadows. Bagano feels more simplistic, and yet... I can't figure it out. Bagano is special. There's a reason the Zeppo built their vault here. Where your holocron waits. Hidden. What are you getting at? This planet has remained nearly untouched for centuries. Were the lives you seek to protect really in danger before you intervened? The Jedi we train will help build a galaxy that respects and preserves special places like this one. And that is their choice or yours? We need each other to survive. Without the Jedi, I don't know if we can. We have a responsibility to protect them. So you've said. She is right, and that's not me being biased towards not liking the Jedi. Right now, the Je the Empire doesn't know they exist, so it's finding them and taking them away from their homes, wherever they are, and potentially safe, actually a good thing for them? Or just a selfish need for our own survival? These things are so cute, but so fucking ugly at the same time. Ridiculous. I do want to save here though, just because I don't trust myself to die again. I remember how frustrated I was trying to get to these certain places on this map, on this planet, but I couldn't get to them. 
I didn't have the powers unlocked at the time. But now, I'm gonna explore when I'm done this. Like when I'm done this actual mission, I'm not gonna explore now. There is the temple. I remember correctly, there's a big ass, ugly frog thing that, um. Oh, yep, you know what's up, ED. Big ass frog thing that guards it. Yeah, you better run. Did I just hear it pop out of the ground? Yes, I did. I'm sensing something weird. Besides... This is gonna sound strange, but... I think it's the Astrium. The closer we get to the vault, the stronger it feels. Come on, Blake. Whoa! Come on, ugly. Oh, you dick. Come on. There. I didn't necessarily have to kill it, but I didn't want to do a foot again. I remember fighting him on that fucking, um... That planet where I was fucking kidnapped and taken to. Let's go ahead and meditate. I wish we had gotten a cutscene though. Damn, it was so good. I'm still freaking annoyed by that, but whatever. Here we go, BD. Well, it got dark all of a sudden. I'm getting a bad feeling. Trophy earned. The holocron awaits. Whoa, hold on. Amazing. The vault itself is built like a giant holocron. And linked. Something about that wall. We're close. Let's check it out. Ooh. Okay. I offer this record of our civilization to those who will follow. Despite our wisdom and technological achievement, we face extinction. Dogma blinded us to the path of balance, and gradually we allowed our pride to corrupt us. The greater control we sought, the further we fell into ruin. Whoa. I lead the remnants of my people into the great unknown, hoping that we will finally find peace. That was cool. I shall teach them the ways of the Force. Master Custis. We shall begin with physical preparation. What is the Force? Gather round, everyone. Master Custis, do you think the Empire will find us? What are we doing exactly? Oh, this way. I was a little confused there for a moment. This is so cool. Oops, almost fell. Oh. 
Okay. Now it's getting a little hard on the eyes. A little, little foreshadowing here. To the trenches! Keep going. I feel like that's some foreshadowing, honestly. Capture the younglings. Kill the rest. They're fast. Oh, I had to wait for it. Okay, okay. I got it. Keep searching. They can't have gotten far. Target sighted. Help me, Master Justice. Moving in. Hmm. I wonder if it's gonna leave me with a choice to grab the hologram or not. Spread out. There will be others. Yes, sir. this. Surrender now, and we may spare the youngest. That's right. On your knees. Just hitting, hitting a little bit. Oh, fuck! Stop doing that. Oh. oh, I'm an inquisitor, apparently. What the fuck? Okay. What just happened? Okay. I don't know if I want to take the holotron. Oh shit! Had a bad feeling I'd see you here. Oh? Uncharacteristically prescient of you. Here I thought your greatest virtue was your dogged persistence as you stumbled from one debacle to the next. Guess you made a mistake not killing me on Brockett then. A scant mercy. I waged one meaningless Padawan against a prize that will win me the Emperor's favor. You think I'm gonna let you walk away with the holocron? Of course not. We both have our pride. But yours has cost you the lives of all the four sensitive children on that list, as well as your own. Like you said, Trilla, I'm persistent. Okay. I hope this boss fight isn't as glitchy as the last one. Whoa! So much fear! Whoa, okay, okay. Nice, she's aggressive. Yep, definitely aggressive. Still running. Nope, learning. Oh, 
Oh, nope. Oh, okay, yep. No, please. Sit your ass down. No, it's fair. Careful with that thing. It's been through hell. Oh, that's not fair. Don't go. We need to stick together. No, I'm going to lure them away, and then I'm going to circle back. Stay with the younglings, Trilla. May the force be with you. Master! Don't leave us! Trilla? What's going to happen? It's okay. It's okay. That's not good. I had I had a feeling. I had I have such a fucking feeling. Oh fuck. I shouldn't have killed the big frog. Fucking trap. I'll get you. Come on, then. So BD has the ability to go up the zip lines if I remember correctly. Yep, he does. Okay, cool. Now I go back to the others very, very quickly.
there's stormtroopers literally everywhere. Wait, where's the beast? I don't even see the guardian anymore. This is not good. I don't like this. <laughs> Run, little furballs! Shit's going down! Seer. I saw what happened. Between you and Trilla. What you both went through. I'm so sorry. I was arrogant, I was foolish. I could never understand what you went through. She has a holocron. I don't know where she's taking it. I'm responsible for the path that Trilla is on. And what she does next is the cost of all of my mistakes. Our mistakes are in the past. And it's all of our responsibility, and it's about what we do next that's important. You taught me that, Sierra. You're right. I know where she's taking it. There's a fortress where they take Jedi, where the Inquisitors come from. It's a place of torture. It's the place I escaped. I just never thought I'd be going back there. Won't be going alone. I'll have a friend with you. No. I'll have a Jedi with me. Neil. By the right of the Council, by the will of the Force, Cal Kestis. Rise, Jedi Knight. So are you. Damn, this took all kinds of turns. Holy shit. Where the hell are the others? Oh, there they are. Quiet. Too quiet. Not a fan of nature, Grease? Hang on. Are we ready to leave? So you and Sierra have been here a few times? Oh, we've been all over the place. Non-stop the galaxy with her. I need a uh, second. Alright, so I think that is... Uh, yeah, it's gonna be all for today, guys. This has been one hell of an episode. Holy shit. I wonder how long's left in this. I think we're getting pretty close to the end here soon, or something like that. Go ahead and rest. Some of my stuff's reset. But, uh, yeah. I'm trying to withhold any, like, thoughts in the story and stuff I have until after this series is done. But, with that said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, hit the like button. If you haven't yet, consider subscribing. It means a lot. Has the channel grow. Good progress, Cal. I'm glad you're with Shut us. up. Hang on. It means a lot to us to and grow. If you want to come hang out live and uh, see how everything goes down, like I said, my Twitch will be in the description. And uh, yeah, feel free to follow over there, I guess. That's it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. <laughs>